Yeah, I'm ballin' in this bitch Yeah, 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 yeah Money stay callin' in this bitch We ain't worry about none, we celebrate it We back in this beat Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening What's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> Holy shit, I love that fire, dude. As Yo. always, guys, this is Pulse Nation, tuned in with ATX Crypto, myself, and my man Westcott Crypto. You we have know. a <laughs> special guest with us today right here, one of the OGs of OGs, and you'd want to talk about someone who has learned how to make it in the world of crypto. I cannot wait to have this guest on. Guys, let's all give a warm round of applause for our man, Valia Brand. What's going on, my friend? Hey, What's good, guys? Up. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, up, dude, man? absolute hey. banger, man. So amazing seeing you again, dude. You are one of yeah. the first people I started watching whenever I got into the Hex community. Same here. Yeah. So, well, no, it's uh, it, it's awesome because I mean, what you guys are doing too is uh, is awesome as well. I mean, the the duo and the collaboration streams that you guys are doing. I saw you had uh, like a kind of like a New York stream. You had whales only. You had a handful Ooh! of other people. <laughs> Um, yeah. you know, West Scott, obviously, yeah. The Crypto Wonder podcast is, is who I was referring to, uh, oh, him legend. as well. I mean, yeah, it, it's really cool. You know, we got a lot of people educating the, the whole community, and yes, uh, you know, we're all kind of waiting for Pulse Chain, but in the meantime, let's educate ourselves and kind of you know get up to get up to speed with the game. Educate is by far the best thing you can do in this yep. crazy world, guys. You know, the ups, the downs, the swings, the ebbs, the flows. Yep. If you ain't educating, then you're just going to lose in this wild world of crypto because it is a wild, wild west for a lot of folks. Right. So you actually began starting off streaming and you got a lot of collabs going in the very beginning. Yeah. Uh, you were introduced every individual for the longest time, anyone new to the scene uh, and welcome in with open arms. So thank you for all that you did and all that you still do. As a matter of fact, I know you're in the background now, but just because other people have picked up the streaming service, you're doing that. So shout out to you, Bally, yeah. man. Yeah, no, no. I mean, once again, I appreciate you guys too, because, uh, you know, sometimes it can kind of get, uh, you know, a little a little mentally draining. And especially when we were kind of waiting for Pulse Chain for like two years. You know? <laughs> now it seems uh, on, now it sure. seems like it's, you know, around Come the corner on. and it might actually be that two more weeks <laughs> like that. But, About uh, time. <laughs> well, so, so, yeah. so let me ask you this. Um, so let me ask you this, man. You were around when, when Hex first launched. You were around before Hex first launched. Yeah. So what was that like and what is it like now? Because back then the motto was four more weeks, as you know. Yeah. yeah. It was always well, four so, more weeks. And so yeah. Sure, sure. So I mean, uh, I think it was Tendies who was who was saying it the other day or someone in in one of the groups, but you know, with, with Hex is a little bit different because with Pulse Chain, you know, we've already seen what Hex did and then we already sacrificed, you know. So you got people that maybe mm. sacrificed too much. Uh, they they kind of thought the. I mean, I think we all thought that Pulse Chain was going to launch sooner than, <laughs> than it has, right? Facts. But I mean, <laughs> facts. Yeah, right, right. But uh, but as far as Hex goes, I mean, the the community was very similar, except it was it was a little easier to keep up with, just because it was kind of a little bit more tight knit and. Mm. And now, man, you got everyone and their brother and sister on on Twitter and Telegram that that are supporting Hex Pulse Pulse X, and um, you know it, it's really cool the the magnitude that we've grown to in size. Um, as far as how it's different, I would say I would say the community is is significantly bigger, you know. Um, mm -hmm. But but as far as some of the things that are the same is I really like that the community is like this is all kind of grassroots. And you got a lot of people that have similar ideals to Richard that uh, that have seen a lot of his streams, right. you know. And then the other recommendation that I want to give for people that that maybe are sitting on their thumbs in the bear market, uh, watch streams like this. But then also, if you haven't seen Richard's previous streams, I mean, I would go back and watch those. I mean, because I've watched you know thousands of hours of his previous streams, and even recently, uh, you'll find out little little tidbits here and there that uh richard's just so full of knowledge you know sometimes you can go back to old streams even even one of them it was uh it was richard and like the martini guy that i was watching from like a year and a half ago from like june 2021 right and uh richard's just always dropping knowledge bombs so 
but yeah, I mean, the community's definitely changed and it's grown and I love to see it. I mean, we got people, uh, I see, I used to see, we got, uh, SJ in the chat, but we got, uh, you know, Westcott doing, doing right. the music thing and like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just man. really cool, man. Like, uh, I remember, <laughs> you know, you'd have someone that, that was kind of into music and they're like, Hey, you know, I'm into music, you know, maybe let me do like a hex song. And then now we got so many people that uh that share that kind of interest whether it's music or other things and they're uh they're just showing their their true talents and they're trying to contribute uh they are contributing right as much as possible right and I see it man it's it's cool we got a huge variety of people oh, absolutely man. yes <laughs> yes oh my goodness so, so bro tell, tell me tell me what it was like to hit it big bro how much did your life change when that uh, <laughs> million yeah. dollars came <laughs> yeah 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 oh man it's uh you know, I mean, I know Maddie's talked about the the whole sudden wealth syndrome thing where it's like in the beginning, Ooh. uh, man, dude, in the beginning, like I didn't really, I didn't really know much about the, and when I say the beginning, I'm referring to maybe like, I don't know, like the first three to six months. It's mm -hmm. like, I, uh, I was about to give up in crypto before I had gotten into hex, like, cause I'd followed Richard. He yep. had called the top in 2017. Yep. And then some of the other cryptos that I was in before Richard created hex, um, not that they not that they rug pulled but so litecoin for example they had mm. had promise like confidential yep. transactions some of these different things that kind of hyped up the coin and then when the founder kind of like rug pulled and like didn't you know didn't do what he said he was going to do uh, i kind of lost a lot of faith in in crypto mm. but richard was always someone i followed because i i mean i always kind of related to him and and just like uh with with you guys you know kind of like a no bs attitude and yep. so uh so the point is is yeah when i started following richard uh i remember him just saying like hey the best way that you can maximize this system like the best way that you can get future you know the most future gains is to stake as long as possible and to stake as big as possible mm. and and that was before big payday that was on day 351 like an, an incentivization to to stake past big payday uh yep. there was a whole bunch of things but but yeah to to be honest in the beginning i didn't really know a whole bunch about the the t shares and things like this and you know and i look i look back and in hindsight like i got some stakes from from day two day three etc from the very beginning that are my biggest stakes yet and they're my longest stakes too and so i'm super glad that even though i didn't really know what i was doing per se i kind of just uh took richard's advice and just staked yes, it sir. long and staked it strong and, and now it's like dude these stakes are huge you know um but so to answer westcott's question i mean it's cool, man. It's uh, it's changed my life, my my girlfriend's life, like all of my family. Yes, uh, it's, yes, it's pretty, yes. it's pretty awesome, you know. Like, uh, it's it's super rare that at such a young age you can have you know financial success and, and financial freedom and stuff. Mm -hmm. And and now it's like, okay, well, you know, you you got the the money handled. Like now, you know, now you gotta get the health in control. You know, manage your time properly, things like this. Yeah. Um. And and try not to try not to you know neglect anything. So you know everything's always a work in progress. I mean, like Ben saying, uh, I kind of fell off the rails health wise for like like a year and a half, kind of into some of that stuff. So been been getting back into it for the past few months. And hey, um, you know, Looking while good. while we're waiting for pulse chain, it's like, <laughs> yo, get get those good habits now because I tell you what, man, when when you start seeing you know those those x's in in the in the net worth and in hey. the value and stuff it can be easy to be like because for me like uh i was like man i'm celebrating every single day you know like shit look at this staker app you know this this number is like you know, 10k more than it was yesterday and all this stuff and you know it's finding excuses to celebrate and kind of right you know Bruh. do some what, degenerate stuff so, so, was it, <laughs> so was it all staked or like did you have some liquid was it hard to not oh, sell sure. Like, was it like you held throughout the whole uprising or did you take profits along the way? Yeah. So, so I definitely took profits along the way. Ooh. And I mean, even still, if I, if I like, I mean, obviously I wouldn't show, but if I, if yeah. I look at my staker app, like I got 10%, it's about 10%. It's nice. like 91% staked and then like, you know, nine and a half to 10% liquid. And, you know, and I always think that that's super important for, for people because I know in the beginning and, uh, you know, God bless people like Kareem and stuff, but but you know, <laughs> so you can maximize Quattro Cinco's and things like that, right? But, right? but man, when that FOMO happens and that market cycle happens, if 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 all you have is like super long stakes, you're like, 
fuck, dude, I feel like I'm missing out. Like, I feel like I'm missing out on the party when you see people that are that are hex flexing or people that are taking some profits that have been there since the beginning too. And and you kind of, you're sitting on your thumbs wishing that maybe you had some liquid or or maybe you had some shorter stakes. So that's where the latter is uh, is super important. And, and yeah, so to answer your question, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I had about, yeah, I mean, I've had some liquid the whole time and, uh, you know, kind of just take profit from here, here and there. I know in the beginning, maybe like the first, I don't know, man, maybe it was like the first like 10 or 20 X. Uh, I'd never seen a crypto kind of pump, pump that hard that quick. And, uh, I was like, man, if this does the same thing that like, kind of just trying to learn from my past experience, like with Litecoin, uh, right. it's like, okay, you know, this pumped, you know, Hex had pumped up, you know, 10 to 20 X at the time. I was like, okay, let me just pull out my principal, uh, because that way, if it, if it does rug like Litecoin did in 2017, you know, I don't feel so bad uh, right. holding on to the bag because I at least took out my initial investment. So, yeah, there were several times where, you know, I'd taken some profit. And, um, you know, and, and even lately, too, I mean, I kind of just, you know, s- sell as you need to, but yeah. not not in like one giant lump sum. It's kind of just, uh, mm-hmm. you know, when when things become handy. But there's right. there's ways to do it where, you know, you're not market selling on the price. You can kind of – if the, the thing that I'd recommend to people is like, if you, if you know that you want to take profit at a certain price, like kind of set that up, you know, a week, a week in advance, three days yes, in advance. Sir. That way, if you're doing limit orders, you can get those filled versus trying to sell, say, if you're like trying to sell today and then you just do a market sell, you know, maybe kind of plan to take some of your profit, like, you know, give, give yourself a few more days. So those limit orders can fill if you're doing it that way. Definitely. Absolutely. God dang, dude. It is so good hearing that. Hey, shout um, out to chat real quick. I just yeah, want to go out. We got 73 yeah. people in here. And uh, nice, I need nice. everybody to stop what you're doing. Get on Twitter. Share the stream out. Get this pumping. Hit the Do like it. button. Hit the Do subscribe. It. Stop playing. <laughs> we're not here to play. All right. Let me get back to my man, Valiant, man. So so let me ask you, man. When did you find Richard? Was it Crypto Richard or was it Self-Help Richard? And, and how did you find him? Um, you know, so... <sighs> It, it was it was kind of like self help Richard, but it it was kind of both. So so I got into crypto early 2017. It was I know it was before March. I think it was like February March area. That uh, so what happened is the the job that I was working at, one of my coworkers, Leon, he had owned a previous like precious metal store, and so he because uh, I I've always been very curious since I was a young kid of like you know just seeing seeing growing up sometimes like I've got three older brothers. My parents had four boys. And uh, seeing them struggle financially sometimes was like, dude, you know, first off, if I ever have kids, I want to make sure they're not in the same position. But then also, I want to learn learn this money thing <clears throat> in this investment game because, you know, I just, just don't want to go without like I had in the past, you know, growing up and stuff. And so the point is, is I, I was into precious metals like, like gold and silver, things like that. And then uh, that was kind of like my first like investment and, you know holding and things like this and then uh reddit Reddit reddit.com was a website that uh that i've just i've been you know a long time lurker and and user as well under ballot brand and and another account as well that uh when i was in like it was like reddit.com slash silver or something like that slash r slash silver someone had mentioned the comment that like okay uh gold and silver are, are cool, but then you got like a digital equivalent or a digital mm-hmm. similarity, which is like Bitcoin's kind of like the digital gold yep. and silver, uh, you know, Litecoin's kind of like the digital silver. And yep. um, so long story short, so that was early 2017. And then really early on, I had found out Richard Hart. And I think it was from his kind of his Bitcoin maxi talk. But then I had also seen some of his self-help videos of like how to give a better uh, apology. Uh, the thing that I've always agreed with too that Americans don't really understand is the politics in America is is like one side or the other. It's binary. It's like left or right, right. or red versus blue. And so I really agreed with with Richard's uh, his video Voting. of you know treat your politics like your sandwich, where it's have a little bit of nuance because mm. it's really easy to say like I stand on this side versus that side. And, and be able to share, uh, you know, no similarities with someone. But if you can kind of, you know, articulate what you do share in common, uh, I think it gets, you know, gets through to the person. So, so long story short, yeah, yep. it was his early videos that I'd found. Um, I don't even know what was the first stream I had seen, but some of the self-help videos for sure. And then it was kind of his Bitcoin maxi streams and debates that I really fell in love with Richard because, you know, he <laughs> he's always been very... Uh, 
I guess you could kind of say humble, like, like in a way, like when he would stream, you would, you would hear things and it's like, damn, dude, this guy knows a lot. And then, and then you'd kind of hear the stuff like, yeah, you know, I got a Mensa IQ, some of these other things. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, anyways, I've been, been in there since the beginning. And then, and then, uh, like I said, I was going to get like, kind of quit slash give up crypto. Uh, cause, cause the bear market was like, so the top of 2017, uh, so the top was December, you know, it was around Christmas, 2017. And then it was December, December 2nd, 2019 that Hex launched. But, but a little bit before then there was just the bear market and kind of like a lull, you know, where, where no one had hope, no one had faith for Ethereum and Bitcoin in the future. And that's obviously when the price was the lowest. And then uh, long story short, Richard's like, Hey, you know, I want to make my own coin better than Bitcoin. And, and that's what kind of kept me in the game. I was like, you know what? I've been been following these other furus, but Richard has always stayed true and he's never asked me for money. He's never, because I'd paid for some previous trading courses and stuff. Right. And they ended up just, you know, falling out you to the wayside. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So long story short, put all my money into uh, to Bitcoin for the hex free claim um, and then sold that sold that Bitcoin that I free claimed uh, for Ethereum and then just proceeded to FOMO into the adoption amplifier. And then, <laughs> Day uh, one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I sent them to the contract address too, which is a big no-no because uh, I didn't really know MetaMask at the time very much. I'd, I'd had uh, a Trezor and hardware wallet for the longest time, but I didn't really know like smart contracts a whole bunch. <clears throat> so yeah, I'd kind of FOMO some of my bag into the contract address too. And I messaged Richard because people are like, hey, I got my coins, you know, I'm staking my coins and I'm wondering where my coins are. And uh, he's like, yeah, you know, the Ethereum that you sent to the OA or not to the OA, but to the contract address, like, you know, you're never getting that back. Right. <laughs> and so, so there's like a lot of learning experiences too. Like it, it's not just, uh, it's not just the wealth and, and things like that and the gains. Right. What people don't see is a lot of the losses that I've had, you know, a lot of stupid mistakes too, that you have to make along the way and you have to yes. learn from. Fact. Otherwise, when you do get that wealth, you're going to lose it. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yo, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. Go ahead. I was gonna say one of the uh, the things that caught my attention that you were talking about was one of the my favorite streams is how he talked about how the voting system would work or should work. Mm -hmm. This is a very old Richard Hart video, um, and instead of just having a two party system like we go with red versus blue, like you always said, one or the other, um, he would literally say you would set up a poll system and you would just have people pick the top five, whoever. And then out of the top five, you just have them choose down. And then out of that, it's the best of those. So it's not like it's not like it was this beautiful system that he had that he said, and it's still around. If y'all want to go check it out, go check it out. Richard yeah. Hart on, on YouTube and just type in voting and you'll find out or democracy. I forget exactly the title, but that was one of the things that really uh, opened my mind to like this dude just doesn't care about like crypto. He wants to help mm. the world, man. Mm -hmm. Like he literally wants to help the Bingo. world. Right. Bingo. Exactly. And so, so yeah, shout out to that. Uh, I remember, I remember um, you used to always be in every, I don't know how you did it, by the way. I was always surprised, <laughs> but you used to be in every, I mean, every live stream, yeah. there'd be like three live streams happening at the same time. And this man was in all of active, Bro. I'm not just talking yeah. about yeah. watching. I mean, active in all of them. I was yeah. like, is this dude just watching? Yeah. Like, Hey, the super chat, super like, chat like, king. Yeah. The yeah, super yeah, chat yeah. king. I think, I think people yeah. thought Brand was a yeah. robot or a, a little no, uh, it's bot true. for a little bit. No, no it's true, man. I mean, like, well, because same thing. Like, I, I practice what I preach, where like this community is 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 definitely something special. I had said that right. on like uh, when Maddie had hosted in in March of 2022, like this like this Vegas uh, Hex Awards and things. I had uh, gone up to the. The, to the stage because they had given me like a little award that I actually have in the corner of the room. But nice. but yeah, that's the point, man. Is uh because like I said, I've got three older brothers. I'm the youngest, and uh, and and kind of just having older brothers uh, and and hanging out with their friends. I uh, have always just kind of been a little bit more mature for for my age and wanted to hang out with you know the the older people or the people that kind of you, you know knew what they were doing. And so right. uh, with with the hexagons, like yeah, I've never really experienced a, a community like this and and it's addicting man like like i know i haven't really been streaming as much anymore but and in a lot of times like in some in some people's chats and streams like uh you know sometimes i'll kind of just lurk in the background and like when i'm driving to the gym or just yep. uh, hanging out with the girlfriend or other things uh yep. just because i don't want to be like super active in the chat because right. you know 
a whole as bunch of people tag you, up, and everyone's then everyone's like, "Valiant," and yeah. everyone's like, yeah. Yeah. "Yeah, yeah." And then yeah, I feel yeah, bad yeah. if I can't like respond to them or if I'm like doing something as well, right. you know. But right. um, but yeah, I mean, this community is uh, is really something special, and and it's uh-huh. awesome to see uh, what you guys are doing and uh, keep, keeping the hype train alive, you know. Right. And uh, it's That's it's love, about man. to get it's about to get you know pretty pretty lit. I mean, right. we up. don't know necessarily when when Paul Shane's gonna launch, but fuck, man, we we know it's 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 right around the corner. Like oh, it's, no. it's that two that two weeks away <laughs> seems seems like a possibility. That's what I'm so, in the days now, yeah. man. I'm like I'm telling everyone, yeah, I'm in yeah, days yeah. now. Like yeah. fuck Same. weeks, I'm in days, fam. <laughs> like whether it's two days, ten days, fourteen, thirty days. Like we're in, we're fucking. I'm not even talking about weeks, dude. We in yep. days. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah so, I'm like so, with you, man. So, 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 so man, tell me what it was like to go through this last bear market. Like, what's it like yeah. making it big and then watching yeah. everything go down? Like, are you DCA and back in as it drops or are you just kind of hands off and waiting? Or- <clears throat> yeah, I mean, so I've I made a couple of purchases. Um, the thing mm-hmm. that I will say is, is yeah, when you're, when you're taking profit, you know, sometimes, sometimes it is important to, I mean, just depending on your situation, you know, like everyone's situation is right. a little bit different, but, but if you're taking profit and you're living off of some of the gains and, and some of the passive income, you know, maybe sometimes it's important to, to take more than you think you'll need because right. it's, it's interesting how, uh, so, so I guess I've gone through, I, I would say like probably like two, two market cycles. Cause from, from 2017 to the end of 2019 was kind of like a, you know, a full market cycle. Yep. And then what we've seen with Hex, obviously a full, a full market cycle for the yep. most part too. Um, what I will say is, is yeah, I would try, try not to associate everything. Like try not to, to base your happiness off of, of what you're seeing on the chart. Cause I know sometimes that's really easy for, for me to do. Like you wake up and it's like, Oh man, the, the price is, is X, Y, Z. Like, like fuck, dude. It just seems like it's just going sideways forever, or sideways and down forever. Mm-hmm. But uh, it really, it really just depends on kind of what your strategy is and, and what your mindset is too. Because uh, you know, if you if you believe in the product and the product itself has product market fit, like we've seen with Hex, right. you know, not all cryptos are like that. Some cryptos they they did a market cycle and then and then they just proceeded to go down forever and never come back and, and never make it back. So, um, but to answer your question, I mean, yeah, the bear market. Uh, like I said, you know, I'll be honest, like for some of the bear market, uh, I was kind of just in some degenerate behavior, not necessarily, you know, working out as much and things like that. (laughs) Yeah. 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 DJ squad, you know, but, um, you know, (laughs) yeah. So gotta have a DJ back folks. Yeah. Yeah. So I I definitely learned from some of the mistakes I've made in the past and, but, um, but anyways, yeah, I would just say kind of when, when you're going through a bear market, just, just focus on. You know, if you're if you're dollar cost averaging, focus focus on that. But then, but then sometimes you gotta step aside from crypto and kind of focus on real life too. Mm-hmm. You know, and, yeah. and focus on the the day to day and the important stuff. Because you know, especially when crypto is kind of doing its thing, it'll like with hex and stuff, it'll it'll make its uh, market cycle again in the future. But but if you're kind of just sitting on your thumb all day waiting for the price to, to go up and it's you know it's going down for another nine months, then you know, you need to stay productive and keep productive. Otherwise you can, yeah, right. <laughs> you know, fall into some bad habits and stuff. Right. I absolutely love that, man. I absolutely love that yeah. exact saying right there. Um, taking profits is by far some of the, the best advice that can be given if done yeah. the right yeah. way. Um, and yeah. there there is really a good way of doing stuff, guys, because at the same time, uh, let's talk about, I guess, you saw the money go up. You saw the money go down. You've seen this cycle several times in Hex alone. It's gone from 70% dips, 90% dips. And I think this was the really first, besides the very beginning launch, 95% dip that Hex has seen in uh, quite some time. So I don't even know. In the very beginning, yeah, it dropped. It was like 97%. Yeah, sure. sure, So, so like, talk about that in the very beginning. Uh, Talk about, Mm -hmm. I guess, handling it through. And and something you really, uh, you know, caught my attention on was the emotion, the psychological (laughs) impact that, the price yeah. of your wallet has yeah. on yourself and how do you how do you how do you separate that or what mm. what how long did it take to kind of realize that you had to separate your your mental yeah. state from your wealth yeah it dude it, it's been it's been a work in progress man like i ain't gonna lie it's been probably like a year and a half something like that you know right, right where right. uh you know, it's it's easy to talk about these things in hindsight when when you're out of the the generosity and out of the the bad stuff and whatnot, but but when you're in it, um, anyway. So, 
so yeah, I mean, as far as kind of separating yourself from it, it's uh, yeah, it's an important thing to do. And, and once again, easier said than done. I mean, yeah, I remember sure. first when, when Maddie was talking to, like when first, when Maddie came onto the scene, I was like, nice dude, we got a, we got like a, like a psychologist and stuff and someone that yep. understands how, how addictions work and things. Yep. And uh, I remember when he had first started talking about like uh, the sudden wealth syndrome term, uh, I'd, I'd heard about that from from people that had had like, uh, you know, won lotteries and things like that. But um, but then it's kind of different too when when you experience it with crypto or, you know, think the emotions and like the euphoria that you can feel when it's pumping. Like it's, right. it's unlike any other thing I've experienced before where uh, that's when you kind of need to remind yourself on like a daily basis of of, of why you're in the game or or mm -hmm. what's your kind of thesis and strategy too like i know right, funding jim right. gary mm -hmm. he's talked about that a lot with uh with things like pulse chain where it's like hey you know have have your investment thesis and and you might not always follow it to a t but um but if you can get something down on on paper like so whatever amount that you put in or whatever whatever number that you want to start taking profit at and whatever kind of amount of profit that you want to be realizing um try and get some of that stuff on paper because once again when because you know there's there's the the bull market and then there's the bear market but mm -hmm. sometimes when you see the bull market kind of doing its things and you see those green candles one after the next it can it can uh you know the, the plans that you had can be thrown to the wayside in uh, in in a very short matter of time yeah um, so, right. so that's all i'd say to that Man, well, let me uh, ask you, bro. So, uh, sure. how was how was the girlfriend in the beginning? Was she was did she believe yeah. or or uh, like how yeah. did things change from when yeah. you first started yeah. investing in crypto and then after hitting it? Big? I also want to follow up and add on that just a smidge. Oh, no, <laughs> did you keep her in the loop during the entire time? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, for sure. So, so uh, let's see. I mean, uh, in like fifteen days, it'll be five years. Um, oh, yeah, the, the point is, yeah, thanks, man. But uh, but, so the point is, is like she's always kind of known that that I was in crypto and stuff, but I was never like that outspoken about it per se. Like it's always something that I've been a fan of and, mm -hmm. and that I've spent uh, a decent amount of time kind of studying and learning. But um, but I don't think for her it really it really hit until some of you know until some of those price realizations or you know one time I showed her like like that's that's why I set her up with her own separate staker app you know oh, okay gotcha. <laughs> that's my stuff you know yeah yeah I had to set that up early because I was like I was like oh man you know once I when, once I saw like uh because once again with crypto it was always kind of the the asset that that I was always kind of looking for like I right. said like with precious metals it's like okay I like this this uh, self custodianship. I like that you can hold your own, you know, silver and gold and things like that. But yep. but crypto kind of just took it to a whole different level. You know, like if you go, I'm going to uh, to Switzerland, Italy, and uh, in France shit. next Stop or actually it. this month. Stop yeah, it. uh, it's gonna be. I know it's gonna be cool. But but you know, if you have if you have over ten thousand mm -hmm. dollars in uh, in in fiat, it's like if you're traveling with over say you got like ten thousand one hundred dollars or ten thousand one dollars customs, you know, yeah, you're supposed yep. to declare that, yeah. Yep. Right. And um and so I've always kind of loved as far as uh I mean even just before crypto and stuff, but mm -hmm. and and before Richard uh mm -hmm. had heard about like some of the cypherpunks and kind of like you know a uh, big fan of self sovereignty and kind of limited government and and not being you know, in right. such a George Orwell, you know, 1984 <laughs> police state, which right is, up. which is what we kind of live in these days. Right. And so I always kind of thought it was cool that you could, uh, you know, not, not that I would say that I do this, but for, for other people, you know, you could have like your seed phrase memorized, things like that, or have, have things where you do cross a country. And I mean, shit, you could have millions of dollars, right. uh, you know, just in, in your possession or, you know, digitally in, in your head. Cause you, you know what your seed oh, phrase is. Uh, right, seed right, phrases, right. So. Hey man, so, so let me let me ask yeah. you this, and I, I want to yeah. see pretzels in the chat. Uh, <laughs> did, did, the, did the sex get better after you hit it big, or <laughs> the same? What did, did she did she for sure. that for sure. Oh, for sure. I bet she yeah. did. I bet she did. <laughs> hey, shout out to your girl, man. Real talk. Yeah. All the ladies well, out there. I mean. <laughs> i mean with with any relationship you got you got to keep you know you got to keep that fire lit you know because um you know i mean i mean that's that's the cool thing at, at least with this relationship is uh you know it's uh it, it's it's worked out well for me but but yeah i mean it's just like with uh well it's not like with crypto but with any relationship i mean both parties gotta gotta be uh 
you know, interested and, and willing and, and continuing to work on it, you know? Right. So, uh, <laughs> grounded in hex. Bro, yeah, really exactly. That? Yeah, yeah, it's all that, no, dude. It's, it's all good, man. <laughs> Shit, I'm, I'm an open book. I mean, hey, this is Pulse not, Nation. Not we, don't, the... we don't play that game over <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, we don't <laughs> fuck around. We get to the fucking, we get to the real questions. Listen, man, y'all in it for the tech or not? <laughs> yeah. Yo, shout, no, out, but, shout out to yeah. everyone. But yeah, dude, I, I'm, uh, I've learned my lesson. And I hope I hope I've shared my lesson with y'all too, that sure. until that money hits the bank account, yeah. man, keep that shit yeah. to yourself, friends. Yep. Because yeah. that stress brings on extra stress for you and them because mm. they aren't mm. in the same game yeah. as you, right? Yeah. And right. so even for my wife who's seen true outcomes of what's happened, <laughs> she still doesn't like when she sees it drop 90 fucking percent, okay? Oh, for sure, for sure. She's yeah. just like, well, I wish you would have pulled out more in that conversation, man. Like, let, let's just avoid it, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah. Yo, so, the chat, so, yeah. The chat got me cracking up. Yo, let's take this down. Parlay, 14. Guitar <laughs> say, man, 14, my brother. Hey, hey man. Y'all know what to expect when you come on this show. I didn't, stop at the surprise, yo. Anyway. Yep, yep. No, I, I, I tell you what. Um, with, with Richard, man, shit. Yeah. I've learned, I've learned, you know, sex tips and stuff like that. Like the guy saying Ooh. how many pulses. I mean, I remember people don't understand where, where pulse kind of came from, but, uh -oh. but I remember when Richard was talking about that, uh, I was like the next day, uh, you know, and practicing what he's talking about, it's like, you know, put, I put in what he's talking, uh, into, into, into reality. It's like, God damn, this thing, this thing works, you know? <laughs> so, uh, so benefits both parties for sure. Hey, Valley, but um, if you could yeah, send me that yeah. stream after this, because I don't think I yeah, saw it. Sure. <laughs> yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, dude. Yeah, yeah it's and that's the thing I always liked about Richard is, uh, yeah, you know, I like people that. I mean, there's there's not many question uh, questions that that Richard dodges or doesn't answer. I mean, obviously with like the origin address and things like that, uh, there's only so much that that Richard can talk on, and he's talked on it ad nauseum for for hundreds of hours, but. I always thought that that was cool too, you know, is, uh, is, is, yeah, talking about, you know, sex tips and things like that. Cause so many people, man, they, they just get weirded out or they it's just, they're shit. just immature, you know? Right. And I always liked that Richard just kept that, kept that shit real. And, uh, I respect that, you know, that's yep. what I always liked about him. And, and that's why when he always said like, Hey, you know, I'm doing this for the glory. Like, I don't need your effing money. Like I retired when I was 24. Uh, that's where from what he has said compared to what other Furus that I was following at the time that said similar things. He was the one that actually proved it through his actions and, mm. you know, once again, not needing the money where other people, they were saying that they didn't need the money, but then they would, they would sell like a, like a trading course on the side. And, mm. and so anyways, I had spent like 5k on a trading course in 2017, like two trading courses. Wow. And, and I got like, like nothing out of it, you yeah. know? And, um, except, Be yeah, yeah. Except the degeneracy money. and stuff. <laughs> yeah. So. Yep. Anyways, yeah, I'll, I'll look for it. I know there's a uh, there's hexsearch.io, okay. and uh, I don't know when Richard first talked about it, but yeah, he talks about count, <laughs> counting yeah. the amount of pulses, and I think 14 is what he had said he he went for, and okay. uh, you know that's that's the goal. <laughs> <laughs> so, so so let me ask, man. So what's the what's the what's the most like regretful spend that you've had? Like, did you buy like a, a Corvette or something? Like, did you do anything that was like ah maybe I didn't need to to spend all that money dude honestly no man like i, I bought a, uh, I mean i bought i bought a good amount of guns and ammo and stuff Woo! here which, which uh dude in washington man this this state's just becoming like my girlfriend's venezuelan and so she's damn uh, okay yeah. hey okay. Mom, you don't mess around you don't <laughs> yeah, know. shout out to the Mexicanos. Hey. shout out to them for sure yeah yeah <laughs> no but uh <laughs> but yeah so so i think uh you know to answer your question, I haven't really had any like, you know, big, big hex flexes or anything like that. Um, nice. I guess you could just say like retiring was, was it, you know, being able to, to live off of the, the shares and the income that it's producing. But, but, and, and the thing I will, I will confirm what, what ATX is saying where, and I think RG3 has said the same thing too, where it's like, okay, um, you know, it's all magical internet money until, until it hits your bank account or until you buy them a gift and they're like, fuck man this gift was you know a couple thousand or, or something like that yeah yeah, yeah. then it, then it's real for sure yeah and uh yeah, yeah so but sure. but as far as degenerate purchases i haven't really made any i mean uh it's kind of just been more more lifestyle stuff like i said i mean 
I don't want to say how much, but yeah, I've, I've got a lot, a lot of guns and ammo and stuff like that. Oh, um, and, and that's always kind of things that, <laughs> that I was a fan of before crypto, you know, has your girl asked you for anything like expensive, like super uber expensive or anything like, or she's been cool. Like she's been smart about the whole thing. Uh, <clears throat> she, Louis she, bags. She's, <laughs> she's, she's got some of her own, you know, some of her own okay. Louis bags and oh, stuff, right. like okay. a Gucci bag and a Louis okay. bag and stuff. But, but, you know, I mean, you. that's may, maybe for something like that, for like pulse chain or something like that in the future. But, hey, but I also think, I also think it's important. I also think it's important that like, uh, so like, so like her birthday was recently and, uh, obviously not going to say what day, but <clears throat> happy belated to her. Right. Yeah, for sure. For sure. But like, um, so I was like, Hey, you know, the, the ticket for, for Switzerland and, and Italy and stuff like that, like, you know, I'll buy that for, nice. for you instead of you having to pay it. And I don't know. I mean, that's like. $1,500 or something like that, nice. you know? So, so there's certain things, but, but the thing I will say to your point is, I mean, with anything, you don't, you don't want to set like improper expectations, you know, you don't want to come from like, like hardworking, uh, like myself, like I've always been to all of a sudden, like, like mm -hmm. you're uh, like, like you're the sugar daddy, you know? Yeah, and like yeah, all yeah. of a sudden, you know, you don't, you don't, cause, cause that can really fuck up a relationship too, where oh, it's yeah. like, you know, all of a sudden, you know, now like certain leverage games are being played because, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, so, so I've always kind of <laughs> kept it real with her and, and vice right. versa, you know, we've kind of had, had a good communication and stuff there, but, but, um, yeah, yeah. you know, some of that stuff's also easier said than done, but, but that's yeah. the thing I wouldn't, <clears throat> that's the thing I wouldn't recommend is the, the thing I'll say real quick, cause once again, with, with the guns and ammo, like sure, sure that was a big purchase, but that was kind of over time. Is uh, if you are gonna do like say with Pulse Chain and Pulse X, whenever that comes out, hopefully soon, like same thing. I'm kind of thinking in, in the days as well. Uh, is is like if you're gonna make a big purchase or you're thinking about pulling a decent amount of profit, like maybe just sit on that idea and and maybe sleep on it for like a couple of days or things like that before you realize it. Because sometimes, uh, once again, in the moment, like like the euphoria is like, and like, unlike any other, you know, drug uh, right. that I've experienced or that I've seen with, with all the dopamine that you're getting, you know, right. and sometimes whether it's drugs or with the, the natural euphoria of, uh, of the chart, you can make irrational decisions, you know, like, oh, fuck, man, I'm going to blow hundred K on this or 50 K on this. Right. And so, uh, Chaz town says shout out from Issaquah. Nice dude. Shout out in Bellevue. <laughs> um, cool. so, so yeah, that's kind of the point is yeah, go I've Hawks, seen some friends. people make some some like hex flexes and stuff and then i've also seen some of those people like one guy i know bought like a twenty thousand dollar rolex and Damn. then i talked to him recently so so maybe he had the rolex for for like a year year and a half and then mm -hmm. i talked to him like just uh, on sunday and and he sold it you know so some of those things <laughs> are kind of you know you got to kind of weigh in your mind like is this worth it you know yeah, and yeah. can you actually afford it you know because maybe maybe you can afford it at the time uh right. if you took enough profit and stuff but but you also might get to that point too, where it's like, dude, after this twenty thousand dollars watch, like I want to put this into some shares, you know, especially at this <laughs> right. kind of price. Yeah. So there's yeah. that too. Yeah, nice. Hey man, shit, you better than me because if I hit it big, <laughs> listen, I'm a bad guy. <laughs> you hear me? I'm a nah, bad I mean, guy. Yeah, that's a that's the deal, Wes. Yeah, it's just one of them learning moves. Everyone's gonna go through yeah, it exactly. one way or another, right? You're gonna either you're gonna either go through it with a a fun time, having all the fun in the world, which is a great thing. Uh, but at the end of the day, you look back and you're like, damn, what do I got to show? Or, you know, you, you get wise with it. So have fun in the beginning if that's what you want to do. For anyone who wants to go out and ball, like, because it's a thing that they've never had before, go ball, man. Like, go, like, I don't want to say go crazy, but mm -hmm. just know that that is temporary, that is temporary typically, right? Because you're going to find, uh, you're going to find those dopamine hits in different things. Right. Um, and right. so when you start seeing, yeah, when you start seeing the money go up, 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 it's a pretty fun thing. And that's one thing that a lot of people will start focusing on. So I really try to stress this. Like, if you think you're a person who will be looking at it every fucking five minutes, delete the app or whatever the fuck you got to do. Just take it away from your equation. Try and take it away. And you'll see yourself living a happier life because when you start letting that shit get you emotionally, guys, you're going to go from five figures to six figures to seven figures down to, down to multiple uh, or multiple seven figures, eight figures. Then you go back down. Then you go six mm. figures, five <laughs> figures, and you're like, oh, shit. And that's typically when you, like Balia said, emotions come in. You fucking sell. Yeah. You panic. Yeah. You do something stupid that'll get yourself in a worse situation than had you mm. just done nothing. So if you just wait a couple days, you start seeing it go back up. And you're like, all right, cool. Whew. I'm glad I didn't sell. But a lot of the times people panic. They're like, oh, man, let me just mm. take profits now. So 
I, hey man, we got yeah. a lot to look forward to. I'm looking at uh, my man Marco right now. I said, cancel buying my dream car, Porsche 911 Turbo for the sacrifice. Best thing ever. Man, you could have got a 911. Yo, look what we got to look forward to. That's the kind of money we looking at, yo. Y'all stay yeah. at, yo. Yo, this is, I can't, yo, I can't even talk, bro. <laughs> it's too much, <laughs> man. Yo, yeah. I, I'm going to need to, that's why we have these streams, because Valley, I got to learn from you. Because I'll be honest, if I didn't find you, Richard, Crypto Coffee, uh, you know, Marco the Hexagon, I'd have been lost out here, bro. Especially if I hit it big. I'd have yeah. lost all of it. Yeah. Well, I mean, hey, you know, we're, we're all learning at the same time, too. You know, like uh, like I said, with like the sudden wealth syndrome and stuff like that. And, and even on some of the videos that I've made before where it's like you're kind of going through it and, and you're talking about how you can uh, remedy some of it. But some of it's definitely easier, easier said than done, you know, oh, and so much and easier that's, said that's, than done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that's that's where I'll say, like, uh, uh, Wendy's has mentioned this before. And, and same thing with uh, Vets and Crypto. How's it going, bro? He's a he's a local hexagon that I've hung out with a lot of times. Oh, yeah. I really like him. Uh, but I mean, it's important to, and that's why I've always been addicted to the streamers and things like that because it reminds me of the the fellowship and the brothership that I have with my brothers. But uh, but yeah, surround yourself with with winners, man, and and with people. Like I saw I saw some of Westcott with uh, uh, like like with Walrus and Funding Jim and, oh, and Heartbeat and stuff like that. Like like those are <laughs> those are great A winners, man. And yes. and surround yourself with with people on your team now because I'll tell you what, man. People come out of the woodwork when they find out that 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 you've been doing well or or people that that you know you thought were your friends in the past that actually weren't because uh, mm -hmm. they weren't there for the lows and stuff, but. All of a sudden, when they hear you're doing good, they're like, oh, hey, Brandon, you know, do you want to hang out and stuff? And, and all of a sudden, mm. everyone wants a piece of your time. Get the or, fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, again, exactly. easier said than exactly. done. Yeah, yeah it, it's true, man. And so so for me, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, one of my old coworkers, Sean, he would say, like, like, no is a complete sentence, you know, and you have to learn sometimes to to say no to a lot of opportunities so so you can let those bigger opportunities and those right opportunities come in because right. uh, otherwise if you're just spending all your time with some of these other things you're going to miss some of those big opportunities right. yeah so how how was it how was it so let's talk about this for a brief second uh we just talked about friendship and that kind of journey and how it goes so typically when you when you gain this wealth a lot of the people around you don't also join with you because of one reason mm. or another you become um, in a better situation financially, and they stay in the same situation. Now, how long did it take you from that moment to almost break apart from that relationship? Because that's something everyone should go through. Otherwise, what you realize is they are, they are weights dragging you down, and they don't have the same. Now, you can try to bring them up. Don't get me wrong. You can try to attach the airbags and all that to them so that way they come up. But... Most of the yeah. time they try to drag you down, whether it be discussions or whatever. So how long did it take you? Because I know I've broken apart some friendships that I've had for a very long time due to yeah, the fact yeah. that I didn't need that in my life anymore and it wasn't going down mm -hmm. the path I was going down. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess how long did it take you to, to start realizing that as well? Yeah, uh, I, I would say I would say kind of I quickly realized it, but doesn't mean that I acted on it right away. You know, so so like I mentioned, so one of the friends that I had had growing up, because uh, my my parents were best friends with his parents, and yeah. and we just happened to hang out a lot. Uh, same thing. He was one of those guys where where he kind of came out of the woodwork when when Hex was topping and and when Hex was doing well and and when I was streaming a lot more consistently. Nasty. And uh, and I'm just like I'm like, dude, like, and mm -hmm. and uh, you you mm -hmm. kind of have to realize where where yeah, sometimes people they'll like. They'll say they're your friends or they'll try and pretend to be their friend, uh, your friend, but like, are they really, you know? And you kind of have to give like the, like my grandpa always says, like, you can't bullshit a bullshitter, you know, like mm. you kind of have to get your fucking your bullshit detector, man, like the radar and, uh, and, and really just assess like, okay, is this relationship like a, like a two way street or does this person, do they only message me when, when they want something from mm. me or they're like, like, like this one guy that I'm referring to specifically he would he would ask me like a whole bunch of crypto questions, and then when I'd answer them, uh, to to my best knowledge and stuff, that's all I can do. You know, then then he would like try and try and debate me and stuff, and it's like, dude, like you asked for my freaking opinion, man. Like, wh why are you trying to, you know, why are we getting into, into this stupid that's argument? Deep. You still think hex is a scam, but then you're wondering like how I retired from it or like or right. why why I should convince him to buy it. It's like, right. like no, man. Like if you're not convinced. Right. 
don't don't get into it because you're right. the wrong kind of person. Yeah. And and he was the guy. So so we kind of bottomed at like like 1.7 or 1.67 recently. Yeah. And uh, he had bought, I think so. I think he. So the price was at like six cents and then it went to like four and a half cents, something like that. He bought it like four and a half cents. And then when we dropped down to 1.7, he, uh, I think he sold it like, like three or four cents. You know? So the guy sold that a loss. Yeah. And, and so I'm trying to tell him like, like, uh, that's not how it like works. That's, yeah. that's not yeah. how it works. Yeah. But go ahead, man. Yeah. My yeah, bad. well, that's just the last thing I'll say real quick is is that's where the staking has just been super beneficial oh, for myself gosh, and others. Yes. I know Maddie's talked about it where, man, when I see those numbers, like I might have sold, you know, a bigger portion of my bag earlier had, you know, 91% not been staked. So right. sometimes with those friends, it's easier said than done. And and for, for this guy, I don't know, maybe it was like a, like a couple of weeks or something like that that I was going back and forth. And then I just realized like, man. This guy wasn't really a friend when I was growing up, and he'd kind of make fun of me. So fuck that guy, you know. Right. And uh, you know, and so Shut up, so shout out yeah. Valley for realizing. Yeah. That, so man. the last message he sent me, I just like didn't respond. And you know, That's if he it. if he sends another message again in the future, maybe I'll tell him what's up. But it's yeah. like. Yo, dude, stop That's wasting up. my time. You know, That's it, man. good luck. Send that yeah, and that's something I think everyone needs to hear too, guys. Because yeah. y'all are all we're about to have the same thing happen. Pulse chain, pulse sex. Y'all are about to see some mad gains that y'all aren't ready for. And that's that's exciting as fuck. But get ready for exactly what Bally is saying. Once you reach a certain echelon, you have to level up. Like if you're the most if I told Westcott the same thing as well when we were uh, met in person. Yeah. When you realize that you're the richest person in your friend group. You need to level up. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. there's, there's no, they're like, why? You don't want to be the richest person in your friend group. Like, yeah, that's an accolade, sure. Right. Yeah, that's an achievement, sure. But if you want bigger, further, future gains, and you want future success, wealth generation, that kind of stuff, like that, for mm -hmm. generational wealth, then you got to level up, man. You got to get yourself around people like Gary and Walrus and yeah. KG and all these people who have you guys. showed, yeah, Crypto yeah. Heartbeat, Compassion, Valley, Vets yeah. and Crypto. Like you got to level up. You know what I mean? Like at some point in time, you just want to <laughs> elevate that that circle of wealth. And and what is it the the old saying? I think you probably know this already, Valley. But you your your net worth is the uh, closest to the close to seven people in your life some of mm. this you're like the sum of uh, your five yeah. best friends or something like that something yeah it's something yeah. like that so again if you realize that you're the you're the most expensive you're the you're the richest person in your friend group i i think it's just wise to realize that mm. as well just go in ahead of time and look at that because everyone's about to see something happen that you've never seen before and yeah. this is going to be an absolute epic time i'm looking forward to it i know everyone is looking forward to it mm. we are talking mm. days at this point in time um but yes I, I think when you realize that you have the most money in your friend group what do they bring in you right and so just take a look at that start looking uh, start doing some reflecting yeah. i guess would be start doing it now <laughs> like mentally prepare yourself now um and just see kind of look at your friendship and what what do they actually offer what do they bring so yeah your network is your net worth there you go right. that's right right there dude exactly yeah. it right there man Hey, dude, I'm just saying, I can't, I can't wait, bro. I, I hope I can hold on. I, you know, I gotta, ooh, it's gonna be a lot, man. <laughs> it's gonna be yep. a lot. But, uh, yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm very excited. I was able to get into Pulse Sex Sacrifice, but, um, I, I gotta, I still gotta buy into Pulse Chain, but I'll probably wait sure. either, maybe 30 days or so after, after launch, try to catch a dip. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, well, man. I know that's that's what happened with uh, with with Hex. Where I mean, it's kind of different because uh, I mean, Uniswap wasn't really out like as far as liquidity wise. It wasn't really until like a week and a half, two weeks. Right. So we kind of had the adoption amplifier for like the first fourteen days. Mm -hmm. But um, but but yeah, I mean, that is smart because so many people think. Uh, I mean, so many people think a lot of things, but they think mm -hmm. it's going to go up or go straight down and stuff. Right. And and yeah, to kind of be able to have that position where it's like, like you mentioned, you've got some mm -hmm. biot or some capital on the side and instead of kind of FOMOing into it just because you might have like missed out on like the initial uh, pulse chain sacrifice, it's like, okay, like, right. like, let, let me, let me make my plan. Let me be patient. Um, yeah. Cause, cause the biggest the biggest mistakes that I've made, like I mentioned, like sending some coins to the contract address and stuff that was from total impatience and that was from total just like uh like hype uh in in my head where i was like like oh man like because we had waited about like a year and a half two years for hex too and then right. everyone's fomoing in at the, at the same time so i think that's smart westcott to uh mm -hmm. kind of wait on the sideline and, oh, yeah. and that's awesome too that you got uh 
you got you know pulse pulse yeah, X sacrifice yeah. in dude because thank god i mean <laughs> facts, facts out to everyone you got yeah. any sacrifice. legacy yeah. Yeah. legacy all wallets yep, yep. We well dude there's gonna be some some mad airdrops I'm like god damn dude like I, I never thought that free money existed until you got like tornado cash like mm. god damn that was a big big airdrop but then you had uniswap you had yep. uh uh, yep. well one I mean, inch i mean so so many coins, different free coins. Coins. yeah there's been yeah <laughs> yeah hedron now like there's been so many i guess and not necessarily yeah, not i guess hedron's not really an airdrop per se but yeah there's been several there's been several that have been uh able to get out there and it's free money yeah exactly like you said and and a lot of times most of the time you're like this isn't gonna outperform hex <laughs> all right take that money and put it over here where i can actually get it so that's what's totally. happened for a lot of the airdrops. Been yeah, definitely get ready for all this as well. Um, God dang, dude! Shout out to everybody in the stream, right? We got over a hundred yeah. people in here, hundred twenty-five. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I love yeah. it. Everybody yeah. here, crypto wonders here, beautiful. Yep, yep. Crypto wonder, what's up, bro? Yeah. yeah, crypto collab. No, and, and, yeah, yeah. And, and that's the beautiful thing is is the people in the chat. And sometimes that's kind of what I miss about about my own streams is uh, and, and probably probably yeah soon soon mm -hmm. with the pulse chain launch I'll, i want to definitely stream again and stuff but Damn, but that's dude, the thing i love back is on the pulse nation my yeah. boy sure. no dude i i appreciate it it's it, sometimes it's sometimes it's nicer to to go on someone else's channel and stream because it's like you don't feel like yeah. uh like you have to the perform pressure. as much with yeah. yeah you don't feel like okay i gotta hold down this stream this whole time right. you know Bruh, um, it's a lot yeah. doing the show with atx is a lot easier than me by myself because i gotta yeah. watch the yeah. comments and click yeah. show yeah. stuff and hide it it's like you can't yeah. even listen yeah. to the person you're talking to <laughs> it's but, true uh, yeah nah, yeah I, I man i hear you loud and clear bro so it's yeah. beautiful <laughs> oh my goodness well guys uh this has been an absolute banger of an episode Balliot, thank oh, you yeah. so so much for tuning in joining all of you people who are in chat right now who are watching the replay afterwards shout out to all you people much love uh mm -hmm. definitely leave like comment subscribe all the good stuff to every single one of these beautiful folks you can check out Balliot brand of course all of his links are straight up in the name like you see all my links.com slash <laughs> Balliot brand but he is literally Balliot brand everywhere same as Westcott crypto yep. um you can find myself at twitter on atx crypt or myself at atx crypto on on youtube mm -hmm. do you have anything else for mr Balliot real fast wes hey man dude like uh, i'm really proud of you man you did your thing and i hope to to get to your level someday man i can't wait to meet you bro hey hey you too man there's i appreciate that you know mm -hmm. and and uh man no matter how much success one person's had or, or hasn't had like uh it's it's the relationships and the friendships and stuff like that like Facts. i can tell with like that's the cool thing about this uh like about, about hex is because the the savings bonds that my grandpa he's back there but uh <laughs> the savings savings bonds that he would give uh, uh me and my brothers uh and I think my parents too, but at least me and my brothers, uh, they were 15 year savings bonds. And so mm. they, uh, they had to mature and, and you actually could cash them in early, but they just wouldn't be, it was like a $25 principal and then it would mature to $50. Right. But my point is, is like you said, shout out to everyone in the chat. We got Brazology <laughs> pretzels mm. in the chat, <laughs> everyone, everyone in the chat, because, uh, you know, you got these people that, that also believe in, in the mission, you know, and yep. it's not just like a belief or like a faith either. It's like a, it's, it's actually doing what we're talking about. So mm -hmm. the fact that you have, I mean, man, I remember in the very beginning when, when like the, the average total like stake tax, it was locked for about like three years on three average. Three years. Yeah. And then it got and up then, to four. And then it was like, like the <laughs> Yeah, then it's like five, and then and then now it's like I don't even know what it is. But but the point is, we almost a seven now, boy. Like let's Ooh, go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah man. We got so many people that that are on the same page, and that's where we just got we got a group of winners, and you know, and then also too like with uh, with Pulse X and, and and Pulse Chain, like that's where it's going to be a little bit different than <laughs> than Hex because like Hex has the hard time lock, but for <laughs> Pulse chain and Pulse X, like you got the single sided staking for Pulse X. Right. For Pulse chain, you got like the validating. Right. Uh, that's where it's going to be a kind of a game of chicken, you know, because I mean, heck, you, you got people that uh, that sacrificed big, but, but what does their sacrifice matter if they get out on a 10X versus a person that has, you know, say 50% of their bag, but yep. they got out on a 100X? You know, they're going to yep. have way more than the person who got out early that had a bigger bag. Let's go. Such good yeah. words, man. <laughs> well, guys, we're going to wrap up the stream right here. Absolutely love every single one of you beautiful people. Again, thank, thank you so much you, for tuning in, streaming, joining the participation in the chat. 
This was uh, good. Well, I'm, I'm gonna rewatch this. This was this was awesome. Definitely, <laughs> uh, we gotta have you back on again, man. So for sure, for sure. Uh, maybe after Pulse Chain launch, maybe we get you back on. Sure. We just had some fun yeah. with a little celebration party and all that good stuff. But thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you so much for coming in, man. You were definitely an OG yeah. in this ecosystem, an OG as a friend, and uh, can't wait to look forward to see what the future has in store for us, my my guy. Yeah, yeah you too. Last thing I'll say is is uh, in the future too. I don't I don't know when, but when I uh, get back into some streaming, it's probably not going to be as consistent as, as it used to be. But Correct. I don't know, maybe once a month or something like that. But awesome. I'd love to have you guys on the channel as well. Uh, you know that cross promotion stuff. Like yeah. that's that's how like because dude, fuck man, I've had my channel for a long ass time. I mean, at least since right. I was ten years old, and right. uh, wow. I'm twenty six now. You know, wow. and uh, well, at 26? least since I was eleven. Damn, yeah, bro. yeah, Good yeah. For you, well, man. hey, I, I'm Scorpio like too, man. October 24th. So you uh, don't know. Scorpio, <laughs> <in the house. laughs> Say, no pretzels yeah. in the chat. <laughs> 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 yeah, man. Yeah, that's so. what's up. I'm Halloween, so I'm, I'm right by you. Yep. Man. Dude, that's that's a badass birthday. I love uh, that time of year. Oh man. 20, Hell yeah. Six and retired, man. Good for you, dog. That's beautiful. Yeah, Straight up. Facts on facts, man. Congrats. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to wrap it up here. Much love cool. to every single one of y'all. We'll catch you in the next stream. Pulse Nation. Guys, tonight, actually, we're going to be, I forgot, hosting yeah. a Twitter space if we got yeah. time. Yeah, yeah we're, we're hosting good. a Twitter space tonight, 8 p.m. Central Standard Valley, Time, 9 p.m. Eastern man. Standard yeah. Time, sure. yeah. 6 p.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, Pacific Standard Time. So, guys, yeah. come on, join in. Look out for that coming. Uh, and hopefully we got Pulse at that point. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll see. catch y'all in the next one, guys. All right. Peace. Peace. Yeah, I'm balling in this bitch.